Josh at Game Center here, and we're talking about one of my all-time favorite franchises, Skylanders, and I'm here with Lou Stutter. This is now the third full installment of Skylanders. What are you guys doing differently this time? Well, it's actually right there in the title. We've got Skylanders Swap Force, and the Swap Force characters are really the big innovation. You can actually mix and match the halves of the characters, place them on the portal, and instantly bring them to life in the game. The lower half of a Swap Force character has what we're calling a Swap Force power. So Blast Zone here, because he's got rocket boots, actually has a rocket power. So you get to a Swap Force rocket zone, and he can actually fly through the Skylands. But what's really cool is when you bring in a character like Night Shift here, who's a vampire boxer, and then you can actually mix and match the halves. So now we have a rocket-powered vampire boxer. A rocket-powered vampire boxer. That just happened. I don't even know what you just said right there. But look, if we are lost, it's only because your squawk and feather mattress here can't fly straight. You heard me. We've talked about the rocket power, but if you look at the lower half of Night Shift, he's actually a teleport power. And then the lower half of Magna Charge is speed, and that has its own gameplay types. With over 250 combinations, there's so much fun to be had by trying out and making all these different combinations and just playing with them. It's really cool. How many of these toys can we expect to be uh, to be ready for us? All told, there's going to be 16 unique Swap Force Skylanders, but you know we release them throughout the year so people get some time to try them out before moving on to the next one. Awesome. And so I know out of the starter pack, Washbuckler and Blast Zone are going to come with every version of the game. And just to clarify, I can still use all of my other guys with this game, right? Absolutely. Every single toy from Skylanders Spire's Adventure and Skylanders Giants are supported in the new game, and because we have a brand new graphics engine, they look awesome. So talk to me about the different levels you guys got now, because yeah. one of the most fun thing about Skylanders Giants was all the crazy huge levels you got. Yes. The game's taking place in an area we're calling the Cloudbreak Islands. And Cloudbreak's really awesome because it really allows us to take you on a bunch of different various locales. So we've got a Wild West area where you're actually seeing cowboy land sharks fight against pirates. That makes sense. It makes sense. Right? Yeah. Or, you know, an epic snowball battle between frost elves and trolls. It happens. It does. So really, we're given the opportunity to come up with a bunch of different areas to take players. And it's really exciting. All right, now, Lou, we can admit both you and I, we're not kids anymore, right? <laughs> Only inside. Why is this game so appealing for guys our age too? You know, it's, it's a game that's a lot of fun regardless of who you are. And we have a lot of elegant things like a hop in, hop out co-op and really cool zones. But then it's also because we have so many cool characters. Adults, kids, really find the ones that they like and really like playing as. And each play completely differently. People love these toys and these characters. All right, so last question. Yeah. When is this coming out? Comes out October 13th on the Xbox 360, the PS3, the Wii, the Wii U, and the 3DS. And then we'll be out on the Xbox One and PS4 at their launches. And it's best to pre-order it and get it at Walmart. I couldn't agree more. He took the <laughs> words right out of my mouth. Skylanders Swap Force.